Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Trisha here from smithscraftcreations.com and I'm coming on again with another little gift giving idea and this time it is a little box, funnily enough. <laughs> now, um, this box is, let me see now, is um, one and three quarters by one and three quarters and in height it is um three and three quarters so this fits perfectly little mini body shop bottles so um i ordered these um as they were on offer one day and i haven't even used them so i'm going to gift them up <laughs> box them up and gift them away and i've got little um pink grapefruit shower gel for when i used to do the, the body shop so this is a little gift here there is one of those um cleansing gels in there as well Okay, so let's get started. Now, I haven't typed up the instructions for this yet because I don't have an image um, to pop in. So, I have got this here, and I'm hoping that it is correct. This here, I have done it once. Okay, so this is the measurements of the cardstock. The white is where you cut away, um, I have cut lines, etc. And then it should look like this. And then I have layers, which are titled A for the four panels here. Where's the other one? And let's see now. And B for a panel up here. Now this is the wrong bit because this is a... Um, I cut off. Did I cut off? Oh no, there it is. There is the. <laughs> I'm panicking there. There is the lid at the top. So that's the opening piece. And then you can put a bit on the bottom or wherever you like. Okay, so let's get started. Now I do have all the measurements and the score lines, etc., etc. Okay, so I'm just going to pop these to the side. I hope this is a good enough view. Okay. Right, let's start. Now, I'm loving my black base, uh, basic black for the um, box base. And then you can add any colour and it goes magnificent. And I'll apologise now if the um, door goes and my dog's back because I've just noticed the postman's coming around and it's coming around really, really late. Right, so what we need to do, we need to get our um, trimmer um, slash scorer out. Okay, and the designer series, uh, sorry, the um, the size of the paper needs to be seven and a half by seven. Okay, so seven and a half inches. Put that to the side by seven. Okay, now they're very closely close in size, so do remember which size is which because the seven and a half side, which is um the long side we're going to start scoring it so we need to score it at one and five eighths so move your trimmer blade out the road one and five eighths five and three eighths and seven inches so that gives you the that's the top that's the main body and that's the bottom we turn it once and we're going to score it at half an inch, which is the glue section, I'm sure. Two. Oh, yes, here comes the... Back in a wee second. Sorry about that, guys. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. Nothing exciting. Right, so let me start that again. So we're on the short side, we're scoring at half an inch, then two and one eighths of an inch, okay, three and three quarters of an inch, and then five and three eighths. One, two, three, okay, like so. And that is our first part done. So we're going to, um, going to trim it up and whatnot. Okay, so with the glue side, the glue tab to the right hand side, 
um, what we're going to do is we need to now where is my white marker because this is actually cut away as well okay this is my chalk marker from uh, stamping up there it's amazing right okay so what we're going to do is glue side to the right hand side and we have you know this section has two scores so we want to put this section with one score at the bottom so we're going to just cut up that and wedge it okay and then do the same at this end slight wedge and cut away those two little panels like that okay then for the bottom we are just simply cutting up to the first score line and I've done that a little bit squint there I'm just going to wedge slightly just to avoid any wee chance of bulking okay do a wee wedge on here. This isn't necessary, but it does make for easier um, building of the box. <laughs> oh dear, hope everyone's well today. Right, so here it is. What we need to do now is we need to um, tackle the top bit. So um, the top rectangle and the square on the left, we're going to cut that away. Don't need that at all. Okay, so we've cut that away. What we want to do is cut up the other two score lines while we're at this angle. Okay, so that's the first panel's cut away. Then we've got two, three and four. Two and four are going to be the half fold flaps. Okay, so bend the third one over and then we're simply just going to cut this in half. Now we've cut that a bit squint, but I will straighten it up. Deary, deary me, Trusha. And it's up to you how thick or thin you want these wee tabs. I better trim this up a little bit so it matchy matchy. And that is the basis for our box. Okay, first things first. For the um, tuck in section, what we want to do is round the um, corner of both, both sides of that little flap. And then that helps to remember you how we're going to glue it all together. So I'm just folding and burnishing just now. You might want to do that at the previous step. I just, if I remember before, I will do it. If I don't, I do it now. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we need to layer up um, our little box. Okay, so I'm going to fold it this way just so that it follows the same as my tutorial as the diagram. Now these are great for little gift giving ideas for a um, little Christmas present. Let's face it, we're all um, really, really skint these days and with the price, the price of fuel going up, um, we're going to have to do as much cross cutting as we can. So, right, we're ready to cut the layers now. Okay, so we need four of A. Now A measures four by one and a half. No, it doesn't, sorry. We need four of A that measures one and a half by four three and five eighths and then we need two of B that measures one and a half by one and a half. Okay so let's cut them up. I need to use, I wanted to use one of the uh, colour packs that I have. Let me see now I have got what I've got. I was wanting to do pale papaya. So where is my in colour one? Is it this one? Yes it is because I have this gorgeous ribbon that I want to use. Okay, so here is the peel papaya. Now, this is quite a light, um, in terms of the ink, it's quite light um, to view. So I'll see how it stamps and might go up a shade and maybe do Calypso Coral or something, which will coordinate lovely. Okay, so, oh dear, my uh, brights have come out with a little wallet. There, never mind, let's tidy tidy. Right, so, sort that after. So, this is a current in colour. Um, this is the same pack, but for the one that's retiring this year. Okay, so you only need one piece, I'm sure. So, we need four bits that measure one and a half.
by three and five eighths. So there's one. Um, right, let me cut this down to three and five eighths because that'll be easier. So we've got one, we have two, three, and four. And then I'm going to make sure that's one and a half. So I'm going to get my other two B layers off of that. Okay, now keep this, these little scrap pieces because we're going to make a little label um, using those. Right, so let me, if you're using directional paper, though, please remember um, that it's the right way round, etc. The box is going to be sitting um, like that. However, you can make it oblong if you want. Um, but just bear in mind if it's a pattern paper. Okay, let's get these stuff on. So we've got four of these. I'm just using wet glue. This is my favourite wet glue. Gives you a little second for a wee bit. A wee bit wiggle room. Now before I build, and well, before I adhere this together, this panel here, we're going to take a little thumb notch out. Okay, a little half moon, a half circle, sorry. And this is just so that the recipient knows where to open the box. Because trust me, I've seen people trying to rip open the bottom before and it's like, no, did you know how long that took me to make that box? And you've just wrecked it. <laughs> uh, this way they could be a little bit more careful opening it and then maybe gift it on. You never know. Right. Um, I will also say that it would be at this stage if you wanted your box to have a window section. Let me see if I have an example here. Here's my little one. Mm. I don't have my sample there, sorry. Basically, if you were wanting this to stand and um, you could see the contents, you would um, pop a little uh, long rectangle die on there and die cut it out. And then you could see exactly what's inside. Um, I think I'll actually do that because um, these are all different fragrances, so it would be really helpful for me to be able to see um, what it is. Okay. Now, because I'm doing that, I will need to use my big um, Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss machine, the larger size. Okay. Now, I will type up all of these instructions into a PDF. Okay. So if you just want the box as it is, without a window, all you're going to do is add your tear and tape or your glue to the side glue section. Okay, you're going to fold it over, remove the tape and stick it like that. And then when it's in the shape of the box, all you're going to do is fold down and glue the bottom, add your layer and then put your layer on the top as well. But I'm going to take this tutorial a step further. Um, I will put my layers on first, however. Right, and I do have little rectangle dies that I can use. These things are, it's amazing. It's it's just really good to, to have these. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you put this on, by the way, as long as it's stuck down last kind of thing. Um, yeah, the rectangle dies are just fab. Right, let me get my little template away before I lose all the bits. I hope you're enjoying this because um, these little boxes, because I think it's really good for saving money, really good for gift giving, and um, yeah, it's just really good. Ah, there's craft fairs and what have you coming up. Um, I don't actually do craft fairs, but um, because I wouldn't be able to commit to them with my health, so, um, but if I could help you guys. Um, now you could use a label to get a fancy window. Um, you will need a bit of acetate, however. I've got a little um, piece here. This is a just a recycle of a piece that I had off a box or something. Right, so what I'm looking for, maybe I will make it fancy with one of these, possibly. Let's take it out to see. 
if you don't want to put your window in, you can just um, skip the video now, folks, because um, this will take an extra five minutes of the project. No, I'm going to stick with my initial idea of rectangles. That would be nice, though. Right, pop these away. Tailor me tags, they're just awesome. Right, okay. Now, there are other dye sets that you can use. For instance, this one's really pretty as well. This is the Scallop Contour Dyes. Um, we also have... Here's my stitch rect rectangle, so that's what I need to do. We also have... See, if you've got like the old, old dressed up dyes, you can um, die cut out little shoes, um, a perfume bottle, anything. This is really good. Yeah, there's just so many. Um, I'm just trying to see. There's painted labels as well, which is part of the poppy one. Um, that's good too. Just while I'm here, I'm as well telling you. Um, so many snowflakes for Christmas cards is a good one on that for Christmas boxes. Um, stitched so sweetly is gorgeous as well because we've got the fancy, the fancy kind of label dies there. Um, mm, could go even further and use the stitched triangle dies. That would look awesome on a box this size so that people can see inside. I'll maybe do that in another project. I'm going to keep them out beside that so I don't forget. Uh, we have, what else is there? You could use your stitch shapes or anything, circles or what have you, but... Okay, all I need is the stitch rectangles. And I am going to add, so I'm going to cut a little window over here. I'm going to add the acetate on the back, but then I'm going to add a little border around the window in black, just so it sticks out a bit more. So I think, now you can see this, this is... Um, Quite a size actually, but it fits perfect. So what I'd want to do is cut out with this bit and then later do the next bit. Right, okay, just talking out loud to myself. Talking out loud. Okay. You could, of course, do a smaller one. Um, Like this size, that would be, look nice as well. But I want to be able to actually read the text on the gift, so... Right, so let me pop that away. Let me grab my machine. Okay, doc. Let me pop these to the side. She says, I love this. My favourite, one of my favourite tools. I know I've got many favourite tools, but it is a good one. Right, okay. Now, what we need to do is to make sure that it goes through the right, that it'll fit through. I'm going to just fold over. Now, it might just um, crease it a little bit, so be careful. I'm just going to fold that over so it runs through okay. Okay, we're going to pop this on, and I am going to use a little bit of... Do I have any washi tape? Let me see. Or I can use... Um, some silly cheap butter there, the no tap one. Just be very, very careful because you don't want it um, to rip your paper. So if it's a sticky, I'm only using the tiniest little bit, okay? I'm going to remove some of the sticky, like so. Okay, pop that on. I'm sorry, I'm kind of out shot here. So I'm just going to pop that on. I'm going to stick this to the inside because this bit's coming out anyway. Okay, so I think that's about centre. Yeah, I'll do that, I'll do. I'm going to pop this in here and then we're going to run it through. Now I need to bring this back because it does move my desk about. I'm just going to roll it back. Apologise. The wibbling wobbling. Okay, put that to the side. Bam, bam, bam. You see, it's cut it out fabulously. Now, you need to bear in mind, see how this is flush, bear in mind that this now, this little flap, is going to be slightly too big to attach here. 
So it's at this stage we would just um, trim that up a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to half the size of that. And I'm just basically going to take off. I'm going to do it slightly under half. There we go. See how easy it is just to adapt to what you need. Okay, right. Now I want to see if this can be used for a label, by the way. I need to get a bit of black. Now this might be sufficient as it is, but I just want to see what it looked like with black. So all I'm gonna do is once I straighten things out on my desk, I'm just gonna pop on two um two dies that are same that are one stage up from each other and that'll give us a little border. Okay, so, oops. No fingers and thumbs today. Right, there. You'll never get this spot on, spot on because it is kind of um, intricate. Okay, let's go. Now that's easier to put through because it's just one layer of cardstock. Flap. Right. Pop this away, folks. Pop it away. Pop it away. sure I'm all back to being straight on the screen. You can see this is just fell out. So I'm going to line that on there. That looks amazing. I do like that. Obviously keep your wee extra bits. Right, let me pop this away first because there are so many dies with this one that uh, you do not want to lose any. Hence why I've got them on a little magnetic sheet. Right, what's going on, Trisha? Where does this go? Da, 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 fabulous. Okay. This way. Right, now we're ready to cut a little bit of acetate. Now, if you want to, you would just use that larger of the two dies to cut out a bit. I'm just going to hand cut it. Cut it by hand, rather. Just going to guess to me, I'm going to pop some double sided tape around there. I'm also planning on making a little shaker card soon. I haven't made one of those in so long. Now you just need to make sure that your acetate isn't going to, um, that is overlapping the glue bits because um, you don't want the inside being sticky. Tiny little bit on the top. Could have been a bit neater with that treasure, but never mind. There we go. Right, so I am going to cut this. So I'm just going to make a little nudge there. And yeah, and I'm just going to cut it by hand. Now, if you're using upcycled acetate make sure you give it a little wipe down so it's not all grubby like mine and um i would be using my window sheets it's just i've not got them out so i'm just using this which was to hand okay so i need my tweezers still haven't found my tweezers all right let's go i am so glad it is friday i am so glad so glad I have a little get together on Zoom with my Stampin' Up! team on Saturday night. I can't wait. We're going to do a little craft together and just a wee blather, a little catch up. Okay. Now, I think this bit has been slightly over the window side. Okay, can you see that? So, all I'm going to do is just pull it back like so. All right. Then we're going to grab this. And we're going to pop it on. Good. Now it's slightly long at the bottom, so I'm just going to give it a wee trim. Oh, oh that annoys me when my, my when I whistle. <laughs> right, okay. So now we're ready to glue together. So pull this in here. This is going to go like this in this. Okay, so. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
do, do, just peel it off. It should marry up perfectly. Um, if it doesn't, you've maybe misscored or something like that. Um, I'm sorry, that was an old order that fell out there. Okay, so it goes like this. Ta -da! Brilliant. Okay, let's glue the bottom. So I like to put glue in between all layers. Okay, press and hold that for a second. I'm going to pop in my bottle and the weight of that will help. Look how gorgeous that is. The weight of the bottle will help to um, set the glue. Let me put this one in. So you can see what it is. It's a gel cleanse. Awesome. Okay, so forgot to say, I like to triangle, to triangle, shut up Trisha, I like to wedge ever so slightly the little flaps, again, just to avoid over bulking, and it makes it easier for the tuck-in section to tuck in. Okay, so, and then we've got the little frame to add on the front, okay, so, oh. she says. Ta-da! Beautiful! So you can leave it as is or you can pop this on. I think I'll pop this on because it's um, I've done it now so why not? So you can use fine tip glue as well that's available in the catalogue. Um, that one is more useful if you struggle to kind of squeeze glue out of a bottle it's really um, really easy to use you do have to press and hold for a few seconds longer than you do with um, Tombow however um, okay now let me pull that down we are going to um, spend a little minute marrying it up so it's all straight but look how fab is that awesome Awesome, awesome. You can see a slight beveling on here, but that is with um, rubbing, running it through my big shot. My, not my big shot, my God, it's not been a big shot in years. Running it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Right, I'm going to do a little label. And I'm thinking this beautiful pale papaya ribbon will be perfect. Fab. Right, this... I'm going to leave it blank, but what I am going to use is I'm going to use this um, section of my punch, okay, and it's just going to punch a little hole, so just kind of line it up, you can feel it hitting the back, she says, Ta -da! and that gives us a little beaky hole for putting the ribbon in, right, okay. So what I'm going to do, this will free slightly, so if you want to kind of seal that as you normally would, that is great. Now I have it so that this is just kind of hanging to the side, so you can write on it, and then we're going to have the bow up the top. Okay, so now we've probably got way too much ribbon cut for this, but better to start out with um, too much than not enough okay um right i'm gonna wrap this over this way love it okay we're gonna make a bow nice 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 this is a lot easier to work with than some of the other ribbons because it is so thick um I prefer the thicker one because it's easier for my wonky fingers. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now, I'm just going to trim that, whistling again, trim that up a bit better. Now, I was naughty and used these for something else and now they're a little bit sticky. Guys, how beautiful is that? How fab! You can also also um, bring this up to the top and have it poking off like that. 
but it will just sit down the side like so. Okay, thank you so much. You can stamp a sentiment on there as well, like I have done with this little one. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you um, seeing all the projects coming up in the near future as well. And um, if you do um, case this, please share with me. Um, I mean, I will do a tutorial um, PDF shortly, which will be on my, my website soon. But if you do try this, please um, tag me on Facebook for friends. Um, I love to see if people are creating um, some of my little projects. So thank you so much, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.